Hey guys, this is Lola and welcome to Human Development and Sexual Health for Grade 8. I'm a teacher in Toronto, Ontario, Canada, and we're actually only going to be talking in this segment about the female reproductive system. So here we see uh, the on the inside of a woman. These are the, the this is the reproductive system. So we see the hymen, which would be um, a thin membrane which partially covers the vagina. Then we've got the vagina in here, and it is a muscular tube which expands to fit the penis during intercourse or baby during birth. Then we've got the cervix, which is at the narrow inner end of the vagina, and it leads to the uterus. The uterus is a pear-shaped. It doesn't look like a pear-shaped here. Uh, basically, it looks like a triangle, but it's a pear-shaped organ which nourishes and holds a developing fetus. And it prepares for pregnancy each month by forming a blood uh, and tissue lining. Then we're going to move on to the fallopian tubes. We have two tubes. We see one over here and one over here. So they lead from the top of the uterus. So if that's the uterus, that's where they lead from. Okay, right there and right there. They lead from the top of the uterus um, with finger-like projections, as we see here, that surround an ovary. And we know that we have two ovaries. Okay, so these two female re reproductive glands, we have one on each side of the uterus that contain egg cells, and they produce the female hormone, as we know, estrogen, which causes body and mood changes. The next slide we're going to see is the side view. So in this side view, we see mostly everything I've talked about. So we have the vagina in here, then the urethra. So there's a hole that comes out over here, and that's for your pee. That's your bladder where the pee is, and it comes out over here out of your urethra. Then we have the clitoris on the outside, which has many, many nerve endings. And as I said, the bladder for your pee. We have the uterus that we talked about. So there's the vagina again. We've got the cervix, as I said here, at the end of the vagina which leads into the uterus. So this is the uterus. And then we have the ovary. Now we only see one ovary here, but there are two as we discussed on the last slide. And we have the fallopian tube here. Uh, we can't see the other one because this is a side view, but again, we know we have two fallopian tubes. Um, and then we have the rectum, which is right here. So that's a side view. And finally, the third one is going to be the anatomy of the vulva. This whole part is called the vulva, right in here, okay? So this is on the outside of a female's body. So we can see the anus, and then in with the vulva, we can see the perineum. The perineum is the space here, out here, between the vagina and the anus. The hymen, as we talked about, is right in here at the beginning of the vagina of the vagina. So that's a vaginal opening right here. Inner and outer lips of the vagina are here. So that would be the inner lips. And then we have the outer lips, which would be here. We have the urethral opening. And as I talked about in the last slide, that's where the pee comes out of. And finally, the clitoris, which is here with many, many nerve endings, thousands. And the mons pubis right here. So we've got the urethral opening where the pee comes out of, the vaginal opening. And when you get your period, girls, that's where that comes out of. The blood comes out of your vaginal, vaginal opening. And finally, the anus is the other opening for stool.